Hi, my name's Sam with Review by Owner. Thanks for coming back and watching my quest to build an Ethereum slash cryptocurrency mining rig. These are the parts that I have from the rig I, that I built. And I'll tell you a little bit more about these parts. Uh, running everything is gonna be this ASUS Prime Z270A motherboard. It's got seven PCI slots, plus it's got M.2 drives. So you can put an M.2 expansion in there. I've got seven MSI GTX 1070s, Gaming X graphics cards. I got the i3 7100 processor. It was the cheapest I could get. Everything else was really expensive or sold out. I've got some Corsair Vengeance RAM. It was on sale at Newegg, so I went ahead and picked that up. DDR4, it's 8 gig. I've got a ADATA SSD, 128 gig to run this. I'm using two power supplies. I'm using the EVGA 850 GQ power supplies. They're gold rated. They should work nicely with this build with the number of video cards that I plan on running. And then I have my, I have seven PCIe expansion risers. It's uh, one times to 16 times. So that's the parts for the build. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm building it and hopefully you could learn something on this if you want to build a mining rig get up and running. One thing that you need to be conscious of is you just can't build a bunch of these and hook them up to your your outlets at your house. You'll burn your house down. This thing here will probably draw about 10 amps once it's running and most circuits are 15 to 20 amps. So you really want to make sure it's on a dedicated circuit. If you don't know what's going on, hire an electrician to come out before you hook a bunch of these up because you will trip circuits and it will heat up the lines and the wires and you could burn your house down. So make sure you, when you do set up your mining rigs that you do it safe and have an electrician look at your circuits so you're not overloading the circuit. So this is it. I'll show you more when I start building it. Hopefully it comes out smooth and works on the first try. But with my luck, probably not. I'll probably be debugging it forever. So I know my my main computer's hashing pretty good. I've got a 1070 in that. It's doing about 31 mega hash. I've got an old uh, AMD. It's a R9 290. It's hashing at about 29. So I'm looking at a really big uh, hashing rate once I get seven of these running. So. I'll take you along for the journey. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.
Hi everybody, this is the final conclusion to my GPU mining build. As you can see, it's in full operation, mining with Claymore's miner. I'm mining Ethereum and Psycoin. I'm getting 211 mega hash for Ethereum and about 2100 for Psycoin. I have my GPU clocked at 120 on the core and 750 on the memory. And I dropped the power down to 70. This is running on Windows 10 unactivated. Yes, you can install Windows 10. You do not need to buy Windows 10. You could run it unactivated 24-7 every day. It, it will just remind you to activate and that's all you have to do is just let it go. So I have seven cards right now running. They're powered by two power supplies. The EVGA 850GQs the one on the right is powering four cards and my SSD. I've got the jumper on that one, so I have to manually turn it on and off with the switch in the back. The power supply on the right is powering the motherboard, three graphics cards, and all PCIe risers. I use the SATA connections for the PCIe risers, and the last riser I used a Molex. What I did is I split the connections for the SATA there's three connections on each cable I only used two so I didn't want to overload each cable another thing to keep in mind when you're buying power supplies is your VGA cables luckily for me the GQ came with four cables that were capable of 8 pin and 6 plus 2 on the ends to plug into your graphics card my graphics card required 8 pin and then 6 pin if yours require a single pin, you don't have to worry about that. A friend of mine got the G3 and it only came with two cables that was capable of doing 8 plus 6 plus 2. The other two were just 8 to 8. So keep that in mind if you have a car that requires two 8 pin connections, make sure that you have four cables or more that will be able to plug into that. Overall I'm real happy with the build. It's been a learning experience for me. I'm looking forward to a good return on investment. And I will put this in the back of my basement in the storage area. It puts out a lot of heat. I'll keep a fan on it, disconnect the monitor, the keyboard, the mouse, and control it by team viewer. If I need to do anything, just plug the mouse, keyboard, and monitor back in. So this is it. This is the seven card GPU mining machine right now. If I could get a M.2 PCIe riser, I will add the eighth card. It will require me to scoot my cards a little closer to each other, but that will be an easy fix. And right now, as you can see, they're only running at about 60 C. And that's with no fan right now. When I turn the fan on, it drops down to about 52, 53. So make sure you keep those cards cool. Well, hopefully you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Again, I'm Sam with Review by Owner. Hopefully you enjoyed this and learned something from it. I sure did. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.